Marina Abramovich, and this is The Athlete is Present. You have not yet heard about my famous new strengthening method. Let me explain. It is a stillness movement. If you are here to move, get out. <laughs> You know, I think I'm in the wrong place. I'm looking for gold theory. That is in the gallery next door. I consider it the elementary version of this class. I mean, this experience. Sure, yes. Well, I'm just trying to get rich. It's my thing, so I'm good, gonna... Good riddance. Yeah. And let that be a lesson to the rest of you. You must understand that the gross monetary world is of no importance. When we begin to break through the barriers of the mind and the body, then we can transcend our limitations. Now turn to one another and feel the weight of the silence between you. <laughs> Now raise your hands and begin to strike each other's cheeks repeatedly. <laughs> oh. ah. Silence! <laughs> you must not make a sound. Continue. Excuse me, have you read my memoir? <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be silent. I just don't... You will be silent when I instruct you to do so, and you will speak and give me praise when I <laughs> Did you read the part about my 1997 installation at the Venice Biennale? <laughs> yeah, I did, and I thought it was very thoughtful. If it, it Enough! Was... You must radiate your answer to me with your body. <laughs> you must use the power of your presence and the silence to convey your yes or your no. You continue. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> No, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I have had a, you're my hero, but I've, ha I've had enough. I, I don't think I can. Good riddance. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> okay, now this must be cross and bones fix. Yeah? No, okay, well, I went all the way up to the fifth floor looking for gold theory, and when I got there, they said I couldn't bring my oceanal support animal in. <laughs> or my other oceanal support animal in. <laughs> and I said, well, then I'm gonna find somewhere else to go. So I went all the way up to the fifth floor, and the security guard kicked me out, and I kicked him too, but then I also had to leave. And now I'm here, and I'm figuring you, Marina Abramovic, the most most boundary-breaking artist here in the Guggen Gym. <laughs> the new athletic offering of the Guggenheim Museum. <laughs> you would be okay with me bringing my animal. <laughs> Certainly, you would. I welcome any sentient being who is willing to break through the barriers of the mind and the body. Oh, great, yeah, I killed a man. <laughs> I also show the man. Welcome okay. in and have a seat. Luna? Luna? You did steal my horse, you lying sack of shit! I've never seen you before, wench. Luna? Oh, it's Luna, right? Is this Luna? Is it Luna? Or is that Luna? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel supported by either of them. Yeah. I feel an extreme supportive energy radiating from the being of Z. 
this equine creature. <laughs> so you would think that, right? But I have been stealing and trading horses on the black market all week. So who knows? These two are definitely not Lula Lumumu. Because you know one of those generals, huh? Those are male horses. When I look into the eyes of these supreme beings, I feel more alive than I have felt in the entirety of my industrious performance art career. We will now stand before these beings and stare into their eyes for the next four hours. <laughs> no, wait, it must be eight. Eight hours. Begin. Yes. Thank you.